So today we're going to be testing a 3600X versus a 3600, as the title says, on a B450 motherboard. Now this right here is the MSI A Pro, and it's a very popular choice because it's coming in at a decent price point. You can usually get these for under 100 bucks, and on the back of the board, it has the BIOS flashback button, so you don't have to have a pre-Zen 2 CPU in order to flash this motherboard. You can simply get the BIOS from the website, download it, put it on a USB stick, put in the motherboard on the BIOS flashback USB port, flash it back, and then you're ready to put your new Zen 2, either Ryzen 5 3600 or 3600X in this case, in this motherboard, turn it on, and happy days. But, do you need to pay the extra premium that the 3600X commands? Well, that's why we're gonna check out this video right here and see what the difference is with these two CPUs on this budget motherboard. So before we move on, there is an important difference between the 3600 and the 3600X besides the base frequency and max turbo single core frequencies. And that is the 3600X comes with the RAID Spire versus the 3600, which comes with the RAID Stealth. This cooler here weighs in at roughly 300 grams and the Spire weighs in at roughly 460 grams. The Wraith Prism, for example, that has a bit of RGB bling that weighs in at 550 grams but that's for the 3700X and upwards in terms of the Zen 2 SKUs. Though, fear not, for that extra 50 bucks that you're paying, is it better to just go with the 3600 and get yourself a snowman, which I recently tested. This is a $17 cooler. I'll put the link for that video up here if you haven't seen it already, but this cooler even gave the Wraith Prism a bit of a smackdown. So we're gonna compare that later in the video. With that said, let's check out the differences between these two CPUs and get this show on the road. So the results are in now for the Ryzen 5 3600 versus the 3600X on a B450 motherboard. And on this particular motherboard here, the MSI one, we updated to the latest uh, 103AB Agisa BIOS update. And we actually saw some weird results, especially in terms of the Cinebench scores, where the 3600 non-X actually scored better with both the Ray Stealth and then the Snowman scored better than the Stealth with the 3600 versus the 3600X with its Spire cooler and then the Snowman on top of the 3600X, both in the multi-core and single-core scores. Now, I decided to do some quick tests on games because the weirdest thing was was that the clock speeds, on average, at least in the stress test, they were reading higher on the 3600X, coming in at around 4.1 gigahertz with the Spire and then going to 4.125 gigahertz on this particular board. When we compare that to the 3600, we had 4.05 gigahertz with the Snowman and 3.95 gigahertz with the Wraith Stealth. So the clock speeds were looking higher on the 3600X and that should translate into higher performance, at least not in Cinebench from what we're seeing here. But when we did test out a few games, I decided to test out CSGO and then Dota 2 on both CPUs with the Snowman to keep it apples to apples. And this is where things came back down to reality a little bit with the 3600X then scoring a slight victory both in CSGO and Dota 2. It wasn't much, it was really, when it comes down to it, that difference is definitely not worth the premium of the 3600X over the 3600. And if we look at the temperatures of the Snowman versus the Wraith Spire, it's coming in with about six degrees lower temperatures and still getting ever so slightly higher clock speeds and coming in 
with lower noise. So it's a better cooler overall than the Spire. And the good thing is if you wanna go with the 3600, then the Snowman is much better than the Ray Stealth, dropping temperatures by over 10 degrees and giving you higher clock speeds. So my pick personally would be if I was getting into PC gaming, I'd go get a Ryzen 5 3600, go get a Snowman off AliExpress for 17 bucks. And for 217 bucks, you've got something out of the box that will pretty much use Precision Boost Overdrive and get really good FPS in games, as well as getting decent synthetic scores in applications like Cinebench. And of course, you'll be keeping things nice and frosty on your CPU. Now in conclusion, with the B450 motherboard, especially the MSI one here, which is going to be very popular, since you can do that BIOS flashback and then get access to Zen 2 CPUs without going out and buying a previous CPU to update the BIOS, it's going to be a very appealing option. And on this motherboard in particular that we tested here today, the A Pro, it's not going to make really any difference between going with a 3600X versus a 3600. And as we said before, I would much rather go with a 3600, go get yourself a better cooler, and even out of the box without toggling anything, except XMP profiles, you may have to go and enable those in the BIOS, which is just one little setting, you can get some really good performance out of the box that won't break the bank. Great board, great CPU, the 3600. 3600X of course is also good, but I just feel like that extra money spent is not worth it when you look at the value of the non-X variant, especially on a B450 motherboard. But with that aside, if you guys enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button for us and also let us know in the comments section, what do you think about the X versus the non-X? And also, is there any testing that you want us to do with Zen 2, especially with a B450 motherboard, which I feel is going to be a very popular option for most people out there because it's a budget orientated board. And speaking of the VRMs too, when I was doing these tests, uh, they didn't even go anywhere near 60 degrees. So you don't have to worry about getting the downdraft airflow from the Ray Spire versus the Snowman. It's not gonna make a difference because this VRM isn't even getting worked with the PBO settings, which are already pretty aggressive and finding those maximum sweet spots on the 3600 and 3600X to begin with. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get on out of here. And also, if you haven't heard of the snowman already, then I don't know what timeline you must be living in. It must be the ice age. Peace out for now. Bye. Put that on there like that. Right. So anyway, the results are in now and <laughs>